So we use statistics and operational analysis in business analytics to form predictive models, right? So what are predictive models? Predictive models are models where you look at data and say whether a person is going to buy this product or not, whether a person is going to get heart attack or not, right? So you're predicting something. So that is essentially a predictive model. We will be developing a lot of predictive models uh, in this course. And after that, we have something called as optimization techniques. So in an optimization technique, what you essentially want to do is optimize all the variables in the problem to get to the perfect objective. So, so say you, uh, you've just, you know, entered three or four locations on Google Maps, right? So you have to go to a particular location. There are three or four routes that you can reach to that particular destination that you've chosen. So the traffic is going to change at every particular moment. So how do you get to your destination the fastest? So your objective is to get to the destination the fastest, right? So you are trying to optimize for that objective and get to your best path. And that is essentially what we do in optimization techniques. So generally try to optimize a particular objective, whether it is to reduce the operational cost or reduce the amount of time you uh, spend traveling between two points, right? So using these op optimization techniques and statistical techniques and predictive modeling techniques, we generate more value to the customers and we communicate these results to the customers. So communication is also a very, very huge part in uh, data analytics, guys. So. Uh, did you ZS Associates essentially is a consulting firm. It's a huge uh, multinational consulting firm. So one of the founders of that firm actually created a very, very good uh, predictive model that helped companies, uh, you know, save lots of money. But what happened was all the customers were not ready to spend that much money on ZS Associates predictive model. So uh, they didn't understand it and they weren't able to actually use that predictive model. So at a later point of time, he actually ended up making visualizations of what he was trying to solve. And as soon as he did the visualizations, those companies were like, oh man, why didn't you tell us about this before? We needed this. And the guy actually told them that this is what I was trying to do for the past 10 years and you weren't, you didn't even actually, uh, you know, uh, paid it, you'd never pay attention to me. So communicating it, communicating your analysis in a way such that business uh, clients can understand what you what you're actually trying to solve is a huge part in business analytics. So you guys should be very good with communication and you guys should be very good with data visualization. Also, we'll be looking at these parts at a, uh, in the future module and uh, you guys will have very good exposure to tackle these challenges in business analytics. So we know that we use business analytics to, you know, predict customer behavior, automate and optimize business product uh, processes, do data mining. So data mining is essentially looking at patterns. So look at all the data, previous data, get some patterns in the data. So that particular process is called data mining. So we do all of these things in business analytics. So hopefully you guys have a decent idea about what business analytics means. But uh, this is more of a high level overview. You will get a much better feel of what business analytics is when you actually go ahead and code your solutions. So we will look at it at a future module. But for now, I want you guys to understand in business analytics, you take data, try to solve some problem. You either do predictive or descriptive or prescriptive or diagnostic analytics. And then finally, you actually go end up evaluating your model, whatever model you built, and then you go ahead and deploy your model. So you, and when you're deploying your model, there are two different endpoints that you can choose. One is to deploy it in production and the other is to actually go ahead and communicate your results in a visual way to your uh, business client. So, in business intelligence, guys, we uh, use a lot of tools. We do data mining, uh, 
online analytical processing, querying and reporting. So we, we look at a few of these tools like SaaS that help us do business intelligence. So uh, we just integrate and analyze all of the data sources into a way in which the business can take actionable decisions in business intelligence. In that we can use business intelligence to improve decision making, optimize internal operational costs or internal processes and we saw we can create new revenue channels. So we can actually target a particular client, say uh, the middle-aged man who was also buying diapers along with beers, right? We can generate more revenues from uh, by using data. We can gain competitive advantage from our business rivals. We can identify market trends. Look at what products are being sold more, right? So if you see, so, uh, Nokia was in the market till 2008, but the problem, so Nokia was the market leader till 2008, 2009, and uh, the iPhones and the Androids actually came into the market in 2008 and 2009. So if you were a business analyst at Nokia, what you would have done was you probably would have looked at the market trends, looked at the purchasing patterns of customers, seen how people are buying or preferring devices that are uh, more connected to the internet that have better uh, uh, internet uh, capabilities, better browsers, right? So, and better application development environments. So at that point, you sh should have made a call as uh, you should have gone and communicated to your CEO at Nokia saying that I should, you sh should actually go ahead and make devices that have higher internet connectivity, better browsers and a better development environment. So looking at market trends, you can actually help your business avoid future obstacles and generate more uh, revenue at that particular point of time. So we can address a lot of future problems uh, by looking at data. I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPat.